Hey guys, welcome to a Liverpool update special thing that I'm going to show you. I've never really known what to call these, so I'll just call them things. And uh, a lot of people were wondering, you know, about uh, Liverpool's save, whether it was going to recommence it or anything like that. Um, if you're new to the channel or anything like that, if you are uh, just curious or whatever, or you've just simply forgotten, um, I'll tell you very quickly. Basically, I um, started Liverpool save on FM12, Team of Sport and all that. Um, right pretty much when it came out like not actually even earlier to be honest when the demo came up they were basically my first team did one season and then kind of got bored of it to be honest because i'd already done three live full seasons with liverpool on fm11 i think it was three and then like i'd done another two or three seasons off camera sort of like in this sort of fashion where I'm update where i'm updating you um, on FM11 again, so I ended up doing nearly like six or seven seasons with Liverpool, and to be honest, it kind of got a bit boring, and to be honest, I didn't really want to do it anymore, but, um, you know, I've not played it for quite some time now, I've been, uh, God, I don't know how long has it been, it's been like two or three months, to be honest, um, since I've, uh, since I've really done, you know, done this save, but I, I was playing it uh, pretty much all this uh, last weekend, um, or at least on Saturday, and um I've I've got to about halfway now, I've got to February, um so obviously the um the transfers have gone through and all that. I've got like that sort of update which I'll take you through now, but I'll take you through the league first. Um as you can see City are just out and away flying, sixty two points, completely unbeatable. Well, unbeatable they've lost once. Tottenham are uh, surprisingly well not actually not as much of a surprise anymore, is it? Second, um we're in fourth obviously. United are in fifth for some reason. Chelsea are sixth. I don't get that one. Um and then we've got Wigan um, in 7th, which I, I still don't get. Um, I, I don't know what... I think it's the save, particularly. Because um, they haven't really done that well on, it, on any other save. It's just this one. I think last season as well, um, they did on this save, they did quite well. But if I just show you very quickly, the amount of goal scores, that is Mauro Baselli has 18 goals. Now... Um, I don't know what it is about this game. This game seems to think he's amazing for some reason. I don't know if he's he's obviously overpowered on this game, but yeah, it's very weird. Um, you know, you got Roddy Eager and Khrushchev with five, but then that's really a lot. I mean, a few a few chip ins there, there occasionally, but you know, I mean, that's not. I don't. I, don't, I can't. I just don't get that. That's just mind boggling. Anyway, looking at our team. Um, I'll go on then, I'll show you the goals very quickly. Of course, I signed Emmanuel Adebayor, and he's done very, very well. 88, 18 goals. Suarez with 19, which I actually didn't even realise. God. Um, anyway, I'll show, I'll show you the team. Uh, the signings I've made, in fact, yeah, I will show you the signings. Um, I forgot which one it is. Transfer centre. History. That's the wrong one. What am I doing? That's history. Dear me. Um, so these, this is what I've spent. Now, of course... Um, we have a few here now. I'll, I'll, we've got from Cadlech, Cahill, Eriksson, Bueno, and Adbayor were all signed um, in the summer. This is the winter now. There's been three signings uh, from um, from the winter break throughout January. The first one was I brought back Bolo Zenden. Uh, he was just free. I've, I brought him back uh, in my Cardiff save as well. And that was a Cardiff. Yeah, will be in my Cardiff save, and he. He's just really good, really good signing for me. You know, he's a decent squad player. You know, he's just they're uh, good to have. You know, he's just really, you know, just a decent rotation option. Then we've got Pedro um, last um, last day signing loan signing. I had to pay for like at one point eight million, but I had it for him, and you know, got him on loan for the rest of the season. That's not bad, I guess. You know, and then um, we got Adam Lafondra on loan. For those who don't know, um, I was in the live stream the other day, the uh, twenty four hour charity live stream, which um, you know. The lot of the guys did brilliant job. Well done to the well done to them all, and uh, Adam Lafondra was in there. You may have seen the video saying, you know, "Go join, go donate." Um, you know, they they really did um, they really did a cracking job, and Adam Lafondra was there and I was sort of playing the game. You know, I was listening to them and I sort of had this and this 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 is basically where I was playing it. You know, I was playing the save whilst um, watching and listening to them, and. Um, I thought for the hell of it, I'll just get Adam Lafondra <laughs> as a bit of a token gesture towards him. So, uh, yeah, so it's hard to get him. He's, uh, he's not been that great, if I'm going to be honest, but nevertheless, it's a token gesture, and I thought I'd uh, have him in there for a laugh. Um, the, the, I think the signings you've, I've pretty much talked about before, you know, I sold Lucas, sold Downing on loan. I, I, I think selling Lucas, obviously, I know that's never going to happen in real life, but um, I felt, you know, it was... 
the, the, the midfield is so compact in Liverpool. He, he's um, I'm, I'm a very offensive and attacking player uh, manager, you know, and generally I'm not. I don't really favour DMCs very much. Um, and Atletico offered completely out of the blue. It wasn't if, as if he was uh, disgruntled or anything. There was absolutely nothing wrong. But Atletico, out of the uh, out of the blue, offered twelve million for him, and I decided, you know what, that's a good offer. I'm having that. So, and that pretty much allowed me to buy Christian Eriksen. Let's be honest here. Um, on FM, I think in real life, I'd probably go with Lucas. But on FM, Eriksen or Lucas? I'd rather have Eriksen. Um, let's go over a few other things then, very quickly. Now, uh, we've got uh, Suarez and Adebayo just out there completely, you know, with the goals. Brilliant. We've got Gerard with six. We also have um, Bueno and Shelby. And this is really interesting, this, because these two have done really well. Um... Very young lads. This guy, I'm not too sure if he... I can't even remember if I bought him or if the game sort of has him on as, like, to join Liverpool because I cannot, I cannot remember for the life of me. Uh, if I join history here, I mean, I signed him last season, but he was, like, due to join, um, you know, for the uh, if, for the coming season. I don't know. I might have just signed him in, like, February or something. I can't remember, but um, this guy is a friggin' beast. I mean, I, I, you may see they're four appearances, one goal... Um, that's completely wrong. Hang on. How does that work? Hang on. Let me just... Four appearances, one goal. Oh, in the Premier Division, that is, of course. He's only played in the Premier League. I've played him mostly in Europe and uh, domestic competitions, and he's got five goals, considering he's only eight... Uh, where is he? Where is he? I've forgotten where he is. He's only 18, and he's got getting that many goals at that age. That's not bad. John Joe Shelby's really getting on, you know, if you are Liverpool... Honestly, when, when you get into the back end of your first season, second season, really press on with him. He's very good. Same I can say about Quates as well. He's got uh, two pretty decent goals. Suso has also scored. Kadlec hasn't been as good as I thought, although admittedly I have been playing him on the right wing a lot. Now, I know he can't play there, but he, is, um, he can not kind of play there, if you get me. You know, he, I mean, he can and he can't. He's listed as like um, red, you know, so he can't actually play there when you put him in a position. But when he actually does get to it, he does play reasonably well. Um, and you know, so I really would recommend uh, some of these, you know, younger lads playing some of them, um, like Shelby Quates and Marc Antonio Bueno. I mean, let's just say, how much did he cost me? He cost me two million. You know, eighteen-year-old, five goals in the Premier League. You got to say that's not bad. And obviously Adam Lafondra down there, <laughs> uh, not getting any. Pedro has only played once, so obviously he's not had um, had much of a chance. Joe Cole's actually come back and not done too badly. Um, but yeah, let, let's go to the league now and have a look at the uh, stats here. Let's have a look at uh, play stats. For some reason I click on the goals and it won't load. I just have to go to, to this. Suarez with a good <laughs> goal score ratio, but Darren, Darren Bent of all players. This is very interesting because Liverpool have, of course, been linked with him in real life. I'm not sure if uh, we will have actually bought him if this uh, once this video goes up. But we've got both um, Adebayo and Suarez, 14 goals apiece in the league. Rooney as ever up there, Baselli up there with more than Tevez and Van Persie. I know Tevez doesn't play obviously, but yeah, you know, and mostly Berbatov. Uh, City have Musa Sissoko. Um, Cavani at Chelsea, he likes to go, well, he goes he goes everywhere, really, to be honest. Um, Cavani, he ends up at about five, six different clubs, depending on what your game's like. But, um, yeah, I think, you know, Adebayo, absolutely incredible signing, really. I don't know how on earth I got him, but, um, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Now, I'm going to show you the fixtures very quickly, how on earth we did, um, so how, how we're doing so far. Now, um, I don't think I uploaded this. I'm... I, I think I stopped after the, the... Oh, no, sorry, I beg your pardon, I did. It was the 6-4 game. Now, um, I don't, I'm don't. i not sure if I still have this game, but, of course, th this is possibly one of the maddest games I've ever been been involved in. I mean, if you look at the look at the, look at the goals, look at the times, it was 2-2 two, two at half-time. Cal got sent off, Eriksen got injured, Suarez got a double, Reina scored their own goal. Oh, it was absolutely all over the place. Absolutely nutty game. Um, we beat, I think, the first game... I stopped after the Derby game. That was when I stopped the, ge uh, the game totally and just didn't play it. But I started picked up again against Chelsea. Won one nil. Steven Gerrard with a 50, 50 minute goal. Uh, Frank Lampard missed a penalty, believe it or not. I think he hit the post um, inside the first five minutes, which was extraordinary. Um, unfortunately, we got battered by City. I just cannot 
I just cannot go to Eastlands and win. Uh, they had Hazard, obviously you may remember Hazard on FM11. For me, he was just amazing. Um, even Khaleesi scored, for fuck's sake. I kind of got a bit resentful when Tevez scored, because of course he doesn't even fucking play for them. <laughs> well, he like, actually does, yeah, I, don't, I can't remember. Um, but we bounced back straight away to beat uh, Maribor in the uh, Premier League. 5-0. I mean, look at the players getting on the score sheet there. Average age of about 23, if that. Uh, Shelby, Bueno, Quatez, Suso and Adam uh, with the uh, with the goals. Uh, very excited. Two penalties as well. It was weird. And I think it got pretty much got even better, really, with this next string of games as we played Tottenham and beat them 6-2. Um, both these goals, I mean, Barnett's goal was a very good goal, actually. Um, Gary Cahill getting on there, Henderson getting on the score sheet, for goodness sake, had to buy over the double against Tottenham, <laughs> as ever. And then we played Man United in the League Cup fourth round, took them to extra time, what was that Anfield? Dirk Kout with the goal, right on there, as ever. You know, Dirk Kout, he's always got this knack of scoring against the rivals, I don't know what it is, he always seems to score against Everton, um, I know we missed a penalty this season, but... Um, yeah, he always this knack of scoring against the rivals, and he's proved it there. Um, and then we took uh, we took the fight again to Maribor. We you know to get a pick up, and uh, eventually Suso scoring again beat them three uh, nil. And then we went on this sort of weird run where we um, we drew with Reading and Birmingham, beat Villa, and then lost to Inter. And then after that again, it, it's like we go into these sort of bumps. We'll go imagine um, imagine a graph where like it spikes up and down. That's kind of what happened, you know, we beat Bolton 4-1 here again, you know, the typical scorers, Suarez and Adebayor, them two just absolutely destructive. Um, uh, yes, you know, I'm sure you get the idea, you know, QPR 5-1, um, Cal, Aga, Carroll and Suarez, Carroll, <laughs> Andy Carroll scoring, that's funny. Um, unfortunately, couldn't repeat the result against Man United, um, Carroll though did score. We, couldn't, uh, we did come back from a goal down, so it wasn't too bad. Unfortunately, we lost to Derby. I'm very rare that I even um, l lose a Derby. I don't think I've ever lost a Derby, actually. I think, actually, no, I probably have once, I think. Um, I, try, I, I probably did in like, one of the um, update seasons in FM11, but I don't think I ever lost a live, um, a, uh, live Derby. And then, what else do we have? Um... We beat Crawley 2-0 in the FA Cup. We then got to the League Cup quarterfinal, beating Tottenham in the League Cup quarterfinal. This was a really good one. Cadillac went the penalty, and then Bassong ruining his team's chances late on, getting sent off. And then we played Middlesbrough of all teams, <laughs> random, man managing to avoid, um, I think it was Man City, yeah, Man City um, in the other semi-final, and they played Leicester. And unfortunately, we went to the Riverside. Could only draw one. One wasn't great. To be honest, wasn't a great performance. Had to buy and Joe Cole got injured, but Glenn Johnson pulling one back for us. Um, and then we took uh, we took Middlesbrough to our place, and we gave him a bit of a battering. To be honest, John Joe Shelby with two goals, never really much in doubt. And then when I say uh, the other semi final was between um, Leicester and City, there can only be one winner, right? Yep, that's right. Uh, Leicester City, as we are going to play them in the League Cup final now. Where if you guys want me to do a live commentary for the League Cup final, then please say I will do one. We also have to play Barcelona in the Champions League round of 16. <laughs> and even make things even harder, we're playing at home first. So I'm really not looking forward to that, um, I have to say. Um, but yeah, I think that really is about it, to be honest. You know, we haven't lost since the derby just before Christmas um, and apart from that I think I've covered everything uh, so sitting forth at the moment could be could be a bit up and down uh, but yeah but, but I think that's the best way of saying it a bit of an up and down season but you know I think I've brought in a bit of a cavalry now to uh, brighten the rest of the season so if you want to see a few live commentaries maybe you want to see the Barcelona live commentary I don't think I've ever played Barcelona live and uh, if you want the League Cup final then just say and uh, apart from that lads uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye